हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई विल टीच यू अबाउट स्टीरियोजेनिसिटी एंड कायरोजेनिसिटी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट मीन बाय द स्टीरियोजेनिक सेंटर फॉर दिस आई विल गिव यू वन एग्जांपल सो सपोज वी हैव लैक्टिक एसिड सपोज सी ओ ओ एच ओ एच हाइड्रोजन मिथाइल दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड नाउ here this is the chiral carbon so below most chiral carbon has oh group is right hand side then it is known as the d lactic acid right okay now suppose we want to change the position of two substituent oh and oh h and oh then it will give a isomer suppose cooh OH hydrogen and methyl right here OH group is in left hand side so it is L lactic acid okay now suppose we want to find out either it is R or S so we can uh, find out it by uh, CIP rule so give it number 1 this is number 2 this is number 3 and 4 right now rotate 1 2 2 3 rot uh, ignoring 4 so 1 2 2 3 so it is s configuration provided hydrogen is vertical but here hydrogen is horizontal so s become r now for this one oh has one number coh two number and this is the three number this is the four right so 1 2 2 2 3 rotate it so it will be clockwise so it is r configuration but hydrogen is horizontal so r become s so here we can say one has r configuration one has s configuration so we can say both are in isomer both are in isomer right okay and we know that in isomer diastereomer they are stereo isomer they are known as the stereo isomers right okay so we can say that if the position of two substituent uh, are interchange it will give new stereo isomer right so r become s or s become r then uh, this carbon is known as a stereogenic carbon so finally we can say position of two substituent here hydrogen and oh are interchange at a atom at a carbon atom it will give new stereo isomer okay so r become s so it will give new stereo isomer the atom from which the position of substituent are change is called as stereogenic center so this atom is known as the stereogenic center and this process is known as the stereogenicity okay now next chirogenic center or one can say asymmetric or chiral or chirotopic center all are synonyms of each other okay so what mean by the chirogenic center chiral center that we know that any center or any carbon which is attached to four different Uh, Akira ligand is known as the chirogenic center, right? So in previous example we can say COOH, OH, hydrogen, methyl, right? So in this is the tetrahedral atom. The tetrahedral atom attached to four different Akira ligand. That carbon is known as the chirogenic center. chirogenic or one can say chiral or asymmetric or one can say chirotopic center right this we know very well okay now uh, in uh, this example is we can say d lactic acid so we can say that this carbon is stereogenic carbon as well as chirogenic carbon okay so this is about tetrahedral atom attached to four different or chiral ligand is known as the uh, chirogenic center 
or chiral ligand so here uh, there will be four different groups coh group oh group ca3 and hydrogen they all are or chiral okay now next uh, we will uh, in detail i will explain you uh, relationship between stereogenic center and chirogenic center right suppose i am giving one example c double bond c hydrogen right okay so this is the example of uh, we can say two butene two butene right so we can say it is trans trans two two butene because um, uh, one one uh, both methyl group are at opposite position right one one group are at opposite position right okay now what mean by the stereogenic center stereogenic center that is if we uh, interchange the two substituent uh, it will give new stereo isomer suppose uh, at particular suppose think about this carbon suppose for this carbon if we interchange if we interchange two substituent then we can uh, what is the product we can get we can say that it will give ch3 c hydrogen carbon so we can interchange hydrogen and methyl at particular carbon so if it will give new stereo isomer then that carbon is known as the stereogenic center so here we can say trans so trans become cis cis to butene right so we can say it will give new stereo isomer right so this carbon is known as the stereogenic center okay now chirogenic center so chirogenic center we can say a particularly tetrahedral atom attached to four different or chiral uh, or chiral group or substituent right but here uh, we tetra for tetrahedral carbon it must uh, has sp3 hybridization right tetrahedral has sp3 hybridization while suppose you think about this carbon there will be carbon double bond carbon so this carbon is sp2 carbon so we can say uh, this is the sp2 carbon it is not sp3 that is it is not tetrahedral carbon so we can't say that it is, this is the uh, chirogenic center right so this is the stereogenic center but it is not chirogenic center by while in previous example so here you can say uh, stereo this is the lactic acid so lactic acid is stereogenic center as well as chirogenic center right while in Uh, this uh, trans two butene carbon is stereogenic center but it is not chirogenic center it is stereogenic center but it is not chirogenic center because for chirogenicity carbon must be sp3 hybridized so lastly we can say that all chirogenic center are always stereogenic center all chirogenic center are always stereogenic center but all stereogenic center may not be a chirogenic center right so by this example we can say two example this is first one this is second one right so this is the chirogenic why it is uh, sorry stereogenic why it is stereogenic because by by interchanging the oh and hydrogen it will give new stereo isomer right now chirogen uh, chirogenic center yes it is chirogenic center also why because this is this carbon is tetrahedral carbon right so it is also chirogenic chirogenic or chiral carbon or chirotopic or asymmetric carbon right because it is sp3 now what about this interchanging the position of methyl and hydrogen to a particular carbon it will give new stereo isomer right if it is trans then it will give cis then it is stereogenic center okay but uh, 
this carbon is sp3 sp2 carbon so it is not chirogenic so chirogenic center is not so here we can say all chirogenic center are always stereogenic but all stereogenic center may not be a chirogenic center always okay thank you very much